Tell the room to stop spinning. It's making me queasy. Miss Montello, you talked to Frank yet? Who? Oh, yeah, huh? This is, uh, a situation that requires some finesse. He lost a lot of money on you. Okay. We can protect your kid, but, uh, you're gonna have to work to earn that protection. Them's the rules. One of my earners named E-Man might be able to use you. Go find him. Are you E-Man? Sometimes, sure. Okay. Some, sometimes not so much. So it depends upon your perspective, I guess. Right. Uh, Vera sent me. Excellent timing! For I have been attacked and fleeced by a dragon. A what? With several heads. Terribly fast, roaring in and out of nowhere on a board. Wheels. So much laughing. So you got jacked by a couple of skateboarders. Got it. Except you don't got it. They got it. They took the secret formula. The one and only scroll. If other alchemists make the potion, no money for the Yepris, you see? Ah, so they took, like, your formula for whatever it is you make. Precisely. I'm on it. No need to lag. Come on, before I come off. Oh, oh boy. Hell, man, what are you on that makes you run so fast? <laughs> this is your dragon? I was expecting someone with a little less acne. Hey, hey, little Joe, I think you got something of mine, something I really need back. Come on, you little punk. Hand over the formula, or drugs, or whatever, or my fists are gonna get creative with your face. Oh, shit! They didn't teach subtlety in big muscular man school, did they? Follow and take notes. The formula's getting away with the kid! Come on! I'm hot on the scent! Dragons leave a wake of smoke and pixie dust! You all right? <sighs> Wish I could undo that sandwich that I did. Oh, I'm winded. I'll be faster without you. No, no, fly! Don't let the dragon touch your jewel capsule! <sighs> I could do this all day, little man. <laughs> Stay away from me, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm taking your lunch money! Stop chasing me! See a kid go down like that. So, are uh, you the Empress's new muscle? Vera? Just while she helps me sort out some things with Frank Valliano. Frank? 
those two are on speaking terms again? Didn't know hell had frozen over. What are you talking about? The Empress and Frank were always at each other's throats before the fall of Rome, and now in the twilight? <laughs> I have a hard time picturing them uh, sorting something out. Hang on, are you saying Vera lied to me? That she can't help me with Frank? I don't know your story, Muscle, but I do know that you wouldn't go running to St. Peter if you were looking to work something out with the devil. And now, I bid you good morrow. Thanks for the help. See you around. Hello? Hey, it's Karen. How's it going? It goes. So look, you're officially on the lam, which means you need your own piece. Swing by a shop and grab one. Sounds good. Hey, I'm here. What should I get? I don't know, whatever gun's shiniest. I'm not your babysitter. All right, I got some. Nice. Now buy a new ride. Huh? What? I'm not- All right, pimp down. Do you need anything? Nah, I'm good. Catch you later. Hey. Muscle, speaking of illegal underground street races... When were you talking about illegal underground street races? We're talking about them. Right now. Muscle, keep up. Honestly, I've signed us up for one. We could use some more income and winning equals profit. You like driving fast and reckless, right? Sure. Excellent. Come meet me when you're ready to ride. Hello? Muscle! Is that you? I, I need your help. Me? What's up? I can't say more on the phone. They... They might be listening. Who might be listening? Not you, apparently. Just come meet me. To go with email. He tells me you and Frank are like mortal enemies. Yeah, so? So how are you gonna help me smooth things over with your mortal enemy? There's not a problem in the world that money can't buy. Or, no, that's not right. You know what I mean. Money fixes everything. I don't have a lot of cash. I'm gonna help you out as a favor to your cousin. He was a loyal earner back in the day. Only thing is, a while back, I made the mistake of putting Karen in charge of my finances. Bratz got me on a tight leash. Which is exactly why I called in a favor from an old acquaintance, who just dropped off a briefcase full of green at an agreed-upon location. You go for me, pick up the money, then I can, uh, bring a little something to the negotiation table, Kabish. Fine, sure. Probably shouldn't have done that. Vera, I'm 
gonna have to pick up a spot, but uh, there's like a bunch of guys here. What? Ah, oh, must have gotten a tip off. You gotta get that money. But the last thing we want is unwanted attention. No bang bang is what I'm saying. You get me? Yeah, I got you. Hey, there he is. Take him down. I gotta go. Walk right into this one, chump. You cost me a lot of money, Lone. <laughs> Frank sends his regards. When Frank says go down, you go down. Okay, got the package. Great. There should be a key right under it. Yep, found it. Now you gotta use that key to open the package. Yeah, I figured. Hey, so what's in the package? We happy? Uh, it's not money, I can tell you that. Vera, these guys knew who I was. They mentioned Frank. Nah, the arrangement I got with Frank involves him staying out of downtown. This associate of yours, how tight are you? You saying this was a setup? I don't know. These guys were expecting me. All due respect, man. You gonna be able to help me out or not? Kid, you're on Frank Villiano's bad side. If I can't help you out, no one can. <laughs> 